All right, let's get Steve Langford in here. Stevie boy, what's going on in the Howard 100 newsroom? Come on. Out with it right away. Don't make us wait. Homeless high pitch Eric. Love him or hate him. His plight getting more dramatic by the day. Shocking new details about High Pitch Eric's estrangement from his family. Howard 100 News getting a copy of what appears to be Eric's late mother's last will and testament, which states on page two, quote, I have intentionally disinherited my son Eric M. Bleeman and bequeathed none of my assets to him for reasons best known to him. Wow. Wow. No kidding. How do you get the last will and testament? We have very nice Stern fans who help us all the wow. time. Wow. And it's reasons known to him. Huh? Man, I might have to interview a high pitch about that. Yeah. He must know. I wonder what the reasons are. We would like to find out. It appears out. high pitch's life is falling apart. I mean, <laughs> oh, it's a mess. My God. How, I'm how shocked this, that it took so long. I mean, how, how this man has gone from superstardom to this. And the estate's executor, Eric's brother-in-law, who allegedly found High Pitch apparently squatting in his late mother's apartment last month, the brother-in-law reportedly ordering High Pitch out of the apartment on the eve of a major snowstorm in December. Mm. High Pitch must be one major pain in the ass (laughs) (laughs) for your mom to, like, tell you that. Ay, ay, ay. How do the listeners get a hold of the will? Uh, Who knows? They're not giving up their sources either. It's public record? Yeah. What do you mean? All wills are public record? I think unless uh, you can convince a court to keep oh. it quiet for some reason. Wow, I didn't know that. You mean my will would be public record? I'm not sure well, at the time what? that it's filed. Why should that have to be public record? I don't want to tell people what the fuck I'm up to. Well, uh, you know what? I always read those things in the paper after a major celebrity has died. Remember a couple of months ago I was telling you what Farrah Fawcett did with her money? Yeah. So Farrah Fawcett, high pitch... And other celebrities have to be very careful. That's right, because right. it's going to come out. <laughs> Remember, we wow. knew all the details of Leona Helmsley's will and I, you know, her leaving money to the dogs and the whole thing. It was nice of his mom, though, not to like specifically spell out what he did in the will. It's only things known to high pitch. Yeah, she didn't I mean, put she didn't his say, business in the street. I bequeath nothing to my son high pitch. He's a big, fat turd <laughs> who continually embarrassed me. Therefore, uh, you know, th- if you start listing the reasons, the yeah. will might have been 500 right. pages. <laughs> Let's start at age two. There were too many reasons. The little fucker vomited all over me. Then he lost the craptacular. Then, I mean, uh, it was nice of her at least not to get into it. Maybe she realized it would yeah. be public record. He can tell you, but I won't. Right. Wow. That's sad. Oh, it is. What's he going to do? Listen, maybe he's going to try to contest this somehow. I I don't know. Oh, please. Are you kidding? I I, I think he should. What could he get? Are you kidding? I'm not about a major fortune. (laughs) But there is that apartment there. I think he's for the the Bleemans from Queens. I mean, the the Queens Bleemans. There's a lot of money there. (laughs) There is that apartment sitting there empty Uh while he's homeless. Wow. Well, you know. Something's up. We need to interview him. Have you been in touch with him? Yeah, but he doesn't. Uh, he, he doesn't talk. like to talk about. It. He'll talk to me. He usually uh, takes my calls. High pitch. Hey, Howard, what's up? Hey, so tell me what's going on. Your mom's will says she left you nothing, based on the re- based on reasons only you know. Well, I don't. I don't know what the reasons are. She says you know. I don't know. Well, your mother and you must have been pretty estranged if she didn't leave you anything in the will. Howard, seriously, I really don't know why she didn't leave me anything. But I have a lawyer that's going to contest the will. Wow. Wow. Are you hurt by this? Oh, a little. But you know what's the thing? You know, I'm working right now. I got a job. Oh, you do? Good. But this guy marked the booker for for quality carpentry. And I have two appearances coming up in January in Allentown and Harrisburg. And you hired a lawyer to contest the will? Well, I have a lawyer to contest the will for me, yes. Wow. Well, there it is, Robin. High pitch arc is going to... Who's your lawyer, Joey Boots? No, some, somebody else. A real lawyer. Real lawyer. You're no. going to go to court and fight this thing. It seems pretty ironclad, though. I mean, your mom said... Yeah, well, your mom doesn't have to leave you anything, does she? No. No, no she doesn't. <laughs> so how are you going to contest it? Right. Was your mom a wealthy woman? Uh, honestly, I'm not sure. Right. 
When was I the last know. time you spoke to your mom? It, it seems Suppose to me... you're fighting over 32 cents. All right. Well, it sounds like she had some dough. D- and anything is more than what Eric's got. <laughs> so what if you so what if you find out your mom like I mean, you certainly when is the last time you spoke to your mom? I spoke to her when she was sick. Yeah. And and yeah. What, did you visit her in the hospital? No, I I mean I spoke to her on the phone and she she said in my sister's house. Yeah. So when is the last time you saw your mother? Uh you know, not since I saw her when while she was sick. Yeah, it sounds like to me they had a terrible relationship. Yeah, and he doesn't want to disclose. He knows. Mm. Well, I mean, you know, I don't know why Steve has to get into my business. I mean, I want my stuff private. Like, Artie's family wants his stuff private, too. Right. But I'm just trying no, to figure out. we would out. only talk to Artie about this. We're not going to disclose Artie's stuff without Artie being here. You're here. Right. If Artie was here, I would ask him. Oh, okay. I, I got you. Right. How you have a game I can play? <laughs> I gotta find yeah, a job game. The reveal why your mother cut you out of your will game. All right, yeah, I really uh, don't... And Robin, I don't know. <laughs> you, I... Think I to... you think I should call in tomorrow for a 7 Eleven game? Uh, I don't know. Call in tomorrow. I'll see if I have one. All right, thank All right, you. I love All you. Right. Yeah, Howard, I love you. Thank I love you. you too. All right, thank you. <laughs> you love him. I love him. <laughs> you love him as much as his mother does. <laughs> I wonder if his mother sounded like him. <laughs> I leave you buffalo. <laughs> I got the blee speech pattern. Gobble, 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 gobble. <laughs>